Hey guys, Uncle Creepy here with another Creepy's Take, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about remakes if I could. Um, the reason why remakes are on my mind today is because, well, it just came out that the F.W. Murnau classic Nosferatu is getting another remake. And that's cool, and I, I'm okay with that, but you, you know what, B before we get to that, I, I can't think of F.W. Murnau without thinking about what just happened recently, and that is, if you haven't heard, someone broke into his grave, his tomb, whatever, and they took his skull. They took his fucking skull. Ponder that, if you will. I, I don't even know what to say about that. But, unfortunately, this is what happened, and being that I am a gringo and I live in America and I don't speak German or read German, I have no way of knowing if there's an update on this story. So if you've heard anything about it, and you know whether or not there's an update or his skull has been found, kindly let me know, email me, Facebook me, tweet me, do something, but just let me know, okay? Thanks. Now, remakes. A lot of people are anti-remake, and I totally get that. And I myself, while I don't really appreciate them usually, I do believe that remakes have their place, and they actually do serve a really cool purpose. And that purpose is, if someone, if some kid sees a remake of a classic movie and they dig it, whether it's good or not, you know, there's no accounting for taste, but if they do dig it, maybe, just maybe, they'll take the time to seek out the source material, and then that classic film is introduced once again to a whole new generation. And I think, if anything, that is the best thing that remakes do. That being said, not every remake is successful. Not every remake is good, and sometimes we get shit films that are so bad, you don't even want to go take the time to see what the source material was. And that's a sin, because you miss out on a lot of good cinema. For my money, for a remake to work, it has to do something different, but the same. Not shot for shot, because that's bullshit, all right? You don't do that. And apparently Leatherface is outside agreeing with me. But anyway, shot for shot remakes suck. Let's face it, you're not gonna one up your favorite filmmaker. You're not gonna make something better than he did. But what you can do is be inspired. Leather, chill out. Be inspired by the movies and bring viewers more of what they liked about it. You know? This fucking skinless guy, dude. Yeah, he just, anyway. You need to bring something new. If you're tackling a remake, give us fans something that we like. Give us more of what we liked about the movie. Like Dawn of the Dead, Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead remake. Shouldn't have worked, but it did. And the reason why it did is Snyder was smart enough to take the source material, revere it, and give fans more of what they liked about it. And you know, don't be too anti-remake, because if you're too anti-remake, then we wouldn't have had movies like The Thing. Or, hate to say it, the debate rages on and on, Evil Dead 2, to me, is more of a remake than it is an actual sequel. And of course, then there's The Fly, there's The Blob, Tons and tons of good movies out there that are unfortunately sometimes overshadowed by the tons and tons of bad remakes out there. So, that's my take on it. Do you guys want another version of Nosferatu? Are you game? Are you happy with the 1970s Klaus Kinski version? Do you want something more than that? Hit me off in the comment section. Let me know what your take is. Uncle Creepy out of here.